on and cover baby finally. Had something like a sleep and it's about 9 a.m. It's surprisingly chilly. I have a day here so I'm just gonna wander around. This is what an Opal capital of the world looks like. Ever since Opals were discovered, European settlers have been coming here mesmerized by its multicolored glow and the money it promised. I already made friends with three dogs, had breakfast, um, realized I lost my sunglasses and got myself some earrings. This is an absolute middle of nowhere. I'm not sure what someone who is not a photographer would be doing here, but that, that thing over there, is a photographer's post-apocalyptic dream. getting hotter and hotter so this is old timers mine which one of the shop owners recommended me to go to And this is a model of a local home. Heat has pushed most of the people to live underground in homes called dugouts. And the tradition continues to this day. If a family needs more space, they just dig a few more rooms, sometimes discovering opal treasures in the process. Pretty cool, eh? Uh, I have been to caves before, but not opal ones. It's really beautiful. And there are also opalized seashells. I've got to be curious about what is opal to begin with because I've never done that research. Should. A bit more about mining. This is a blower. It works as a giant vacuum cleaner that sucks up rocks from a shaft. Oh look a um, flower pot. Oh a spaceship. Actually as I later learned, it is a spaceship, from a movie called Pitch Black. Some other films have been shot here, including Mad Max, Red Planet, and Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Dust hangs in the dry air, and flies are chasing every living being in constant search for precious moisture. What is amazing is that this used to be a sea. This used to be underwater. Long, long ago, millions of years ago, this, all of this was underwater. Plesiosaurs, giant squids swimming all around, clams and crabs living their lives. And then the sea disappeared, leaving fossils behind. 
Encased in stone, bones and shells slowly disintegrated, partly replaced by silica from the sand, dissolved by evaporating water. Silica hardened and became an opal. That is why there are opals in form of seashells and belemnites, ancient squids. It's really amazing, isn't it? Does it used to be sea? It's almost eight and I've come again to this car. This crazy, insanely awesome scrap metal car. A camper van transformed into a mining device left in the middle of nowhere for scrap metal. It probably look amazing at night. I'm gonna wait till it gets darker. A rusty monster. Like Frankenstein's creation, it seems to be stitched together from different parts, forgotten and abandoned in the heat of a desert. 